Hey guys, it's Ex Machina again with another breakdown video from a track from my Sunshine Suicides album. This track is called Timeless. We'll get right into it today. Now you can see on the right hand side, we got a bunch of, of this. I mean, it's everything's the same. I mean, <laughs> if you've watched the previous videos, you can see that we got the kick, we got the bass. Again, we'll solo those like usual. This is exactly the same. Same bass, same kick. And then we got the leads over here. We'll just go over those. So now we got the Rhodes. We have the sine wave synth. And now I call it sine wave synth because you could really use serum. You can, I mean, you could use massive, I mean, whatever you want to use. Really, it's literally just a sine wave. And then we got the guitar over here as usual. And now that's the reverse guitar. We start from earlier. The regular guitar. Very nice. And then we also got the piano. Yep. Now I use contact library for pretty much all of these sounds right here. The guitar sounds um, is guitar rig actually in Ableton, but the piano sounds is using the contact library. Um, and then also the Rhodes is using the contact library. Uh, we have the bass, which is also using the contact library. But besides that, everything else, uh, the sine wave I use serum for, it's pretty simple there. And then the snare, and drums and all that stuff is just sounds that I've created um, or have collected over, you know, the years and stuff. But these specific snares I got in a pack, I think, a lo-fi pack. And then I just adjusted the uh, EQ the way that I liked it and then created a template uh, which would make this pop up every time. And then I'll EQ it to change it, you know, per track uh, just to get a different feel. But the basics of the sound and everything is there already. So again, with the snares, we'll just get into depth on what we did. So we adjusted the mix and then also the delay warp. Get those fun sounds there. And then the hats again are the same. We, we use the same hats here. Just to give it that oomph, we use super massive. And then with the vocals over here, we have analog collapse, which is our fun little del like echo delay thing. And this will echo nicely until the next time it, you know, plays. It might even just add a little bit to it. So how it, see how it goes into each other nicely. Okay, and then we have the signature sounds here. It's honestly my favorite part of the whole, the whole thing. I just feel like I need to make a whole pack of just those sounds and then just release them i think that'd be pretty fun i have like a 10 minute video of just that playing all right and then the final element here is going to be the vinyl sound and it's the glitch glitched version obviously so uh now oh let's see bad practice here i totally didn't Get rid of all of that there. Probably should have uh, before I dropped the final master. But oh well. Yeah, you live and you learn. But yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in on this one. Again, this was uh, another one of my favorite tracks on here. I think this one and the uh, last track on the album were my two favorite ones. Waited for you and then this. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Enjoy.